Don't mind my my sunburn. We had a great weekend, but um, I damn near fell asleep in the lazy river, and this is the result. Honestly, I could probably sue the sunscreen company. I'm not going to, but it doesn't work for me. I reapplied like three times, maybe four times yesterday. Nothing, like nothing. My daughter and I both still got too much sun. But it's okay, because it was a totally fun time, and um, I'm going to have a vlog up possibly, yeah, I think on Wednesday from this past weekend. I did a bunch of baking. Ended up making banana nut muffins and brownies and went to the water park, and it was just a really fun weekend. So I should have a vlog up this week. I need to take a look at like my videos and see if I want to piece them together or not, or you might get a book review. Who knows? It's it's crazy. Um, I also am going to probably have a grocery haul for you guys this week. Um, I haven't been doing them because they haven't been that interesting. But with the fall snacks and the cool stuff rolling out, there's a few items I'm really looking for specifically. And um, we'll talk about that if I do a grocery haul. So yeah, I'm excited about fall things rolling in in case I lost three videos haven't informed you enough about that. But not speaking of fall, this was Christmas related. I read the cutest book ever and that is uh, Alicia Thompson. I wanted to make sure I said her name right. Alicia Thompson's With Love from Cold War. So if you remember correctly, last year I read Alicia Thompson's other novel um, Love in a Time of Serial Killers, which I really, really liked. I think I liked this one a little bit more. Um, not because the MC is named Lauren, even though it's spelled the traditional way, but, um, the main male MC, Asa, is just a really, really likable guy. I, it's Enemies to Lovers, and they are co-workers, at this place called Cold World. It is a attraction in Orlando that is like cold. It's got an ice rink in it and something called the snow globe and you know everything is cold themed and obviously Christmas is a massive season for them. And um, so it's coming up on the Christmas season and they have to kind of work together on a project as well as they're doing Secret Santa and they draw each other's names. And it's just a really, really cute story, but the characters in this one really made it like exceptional for me. Like I said, I really, really understood the main MC, Lauren, and the male MC, Asa. They were a cute couple, they made sense to me. perfect example of opposites attract but in like the right way and not in like the wrong way where it's like y'all don't even belong together y'all don't even like each other but like done in the right way if that makes absolutely any sense um yeah it was just a really really great read thoroughly enjoyed it um it also is a lot of heartwarming stuff it has a bunch of trigger warnings in the beginning that deal with LGBTQ issues, um, like outing somebody and against their consent and things like that, because Issa is bisexual in the book, and his family is not supportive, and um, he had a bad experience, and so Lauren was raised in the foster care system, and they kind of trauma bond a bit, um, and then. They just they have a lot of similarities without realizing that they have a lot of similarities. It's a really, really cute, sweet, heartwarming story. 
So yeah, definitely a five. I think I gave that one a five plus. I'm not going to lie to you. Just because it was so refreshing and is enemies to lovers, coworkers overdone, probably, but it felt like a fresh new take on it. Um, and I just really, really enjoyed the writing. It was such a quick read. I think I read that book in like a day. And um, yeah, it was really, really good. That is one that I recommend where a lot of the book talk rom-coms that I read aren't for me. That one, was, it just got my sense of humor. So what is coming up, you guys? I'm finishing up Shadow and Ember, hopefully today. Um, and then... That is my 97th read for the year. But it's crazy because we're only in August, so I'll have 100 reads by September. Even you guys know my goal is always 100 books a year. I don't raise it because of not wanting to just I don't know, make it an unreasonable amount for me. I think that anything over 10 to 15 books a month is excessive for me, unless I am literally just listening to audiobooks at work all day, every day, which sometimes I am in the mood to do that. But most of my books I actually physically read rather than audiobooks, so that limits how much I can read a month. And I, I just think anything more than 10 or 15 is too much for me. I start to forget what they're about. Like, they start to blend together for me. So, I'm going to read my 100th book, probably at the end of this month, if not the beginning of next month. And I'm going to do a whole video on picking that book. Um, I have a front runner. But I'm not going to lie, there are a couple that are high up there. Um, I'm going to do a video on that. All of my front runners. And um, then we'll figure out which one we're going to read, okay? Um, but With Love from Cold War, excellent book, thoroughly enjoyed it, one of my favorite reads of the month of August so far, and I've had, I feel like three or four or five Star Plus reads this month. Let's take a look really quickly at my desk, I'm at my desk, so I can actually look. Let's take a look, um, see if I can pull it up quickly without wasting y'all's time. I feel like I've had an excessive number of five star reads this month. Five pluses, actually. Place the Jeopardy music. No, it is in fact not gonna let me pull it up quickly. Which is what it is. Okay. I might cut all of that out, but I might leave it in there so you can get my uh, Jeopardy theme song. Some of my front runners, though, are really, really good books. I try to make my my 100th read significant. Oh, I can tell you. Why am I sitting here? I have my list. Um, okay, so with Love from Cold War, I said it was a five plus read. A Promise of Fire was a 5 plus read for me this month. One Dark Window was a 5 star plus read for me this month. And I can't remember if I gave Lassiter a 5 plus or not, but it was a 5. It wasn't a 5 plus because I thought it did a really good job of wrapping everything up. So yeah. I've had quite a few five plus reads this month. Three. One Dark Window, A Promise of Fire, and now With Love from Cold War. Or With Love from Cold World. I always mess that up. Anywho, I love you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see you on Wednesday. Like I said, will be a vlog probably from the water park um, weekend if I like how it looks. And then. We'll be picking out my 100th read, which is crazy. Love you guys. Bye.